let's talk about OSHA and the process safety management, specifically as it relates to training. But what I want to mention to you is that the OSHA standards are what we call minimal sets of standards. A lot of companies have been going above and beyond OSHA compliance for decades, even prior to the PSM standard. Now, when I went to work with Mobile Oil in 1987, and that was prior to the process safety management standard, one of the first things my supervisor did, even as a safety engineer, he had me attend a two-week basic operator training course just to learn the, the petroleum refining processes. And some of the new operators would work with experienced operators and they could take no independent action on their own for at least six months, or at least until they, you know, the operators, the experienced operators and their supervisor, they were comfortable that they could perform some of these functions independently. So as an example, if an operator needed to open or close a valve or perform some function on a covered process, they would take this new employee and instruct him or her what valve to open or close and would actually stand there and observe but the new apprentice operator could perform no action on their own. So let's talk about OSHA and PSM training. OSHA believes that the implementation of an effective training program is one of the most important steps employers can take to enhance employee safety. OSHA also believes that an effective training program will help employees understand the nature and causes of problems arising from process operations and will increase employee awareness with respect to the hazards particular to a process. The intent of this paragraph helps employees and contractor employees understand the nature and causes of problems arising from process operations and increases employee awareness with respect to the hazards particular to a process. An effective training program significantly reduces the number and severity of incidents arising from process operations and can be instrumental in preventing small problems from leading to a catastrophic release. Minimum requirements for an effective training program include initial training, refresher training, and documentation.